dropped it short and well played. That's one of the strong areas for Kepler vessels. And on this wicket, not the ideal thing to drop the ball short. Fine way to start the day. He's very well in position. Middle of the bat. Well played. Made one century for South Africa against India. It missed out on deserving one in the last test match. That's a good delivery. And Vessels really didn't offer a stroke. Didn't get dropped it short. But a very confident appeal in the end. Andrew Hudson also amongst the runs. Missed out on a chance to score 100 in the first test at the Tiron Fernandes Stadium. But the South African openers have put two century partnerships before. Well struck. Nice way to open scoring. Long chase for Lienegay. He's outfield extremely fast. Like his partner off the mark with the boundary. Brian Aldridge, the neutral umpire from New Zealand. Beautiful delivery. That beat Russell's all ends up. Lienegay bending his back. You see the movement. Champakaramanaika. His home ground. Dropped it short. Well played. Pull through mid wicket and you are asking for a lot of trouble to bowl that shot at vessels. Very strong on anything that's short in length. Come to the lost the toss. Lineke dropping it short and Hudson very quickly into position. Got that one through mid wicket. Well played. South African openers once again. Piling on the runs despite uh, some early scares. It was very well played. Controlled aggression by Hudson. Drops it short. It worked away nicely. There was no third man. This is going short of length. Kumar Dharmasena. Well bowled. Got a little bit of lift there. That was it there. Well, you can produce that many good deliveries very early on. In gaining height of the pitch, went off the handle and over the closing fielders. That was a close call, but the wicket showing signs of giving some assistance to the bowlers. Feel, but the umpire is not interested. But that one went right through the South African captain. Came back on Kepler Vessels and just missed the inside edge or did it.
very awkward delivery. It hit the flap of his front pad, but very well bowled. Comprehensively beaten. Kumar Darmas. Balls played up easily, and did he take it? Yes, he did. Kumar Darmasena picks up his first test wicket. No doubt he will be very happy. He has reason to be so. That's his uh, clubmate uh, Dasnaika congratulating him. But an important breakthrough. He put 50 runs on in around 95 minutes of batting. But this was the breakthrough Sri Lanka needed. After 100 minutes of batting in the 24th over. Could have played it square, but uh, instead he pushed it. And Kuvakaratna, very watchful there. He's very safe in that position. Well taken. And Tikonia made the top score in the last test match. For his second test 100. That's Snell, the videos, and Brett Schultz. So you can enjoy the sun. Him. Oh, he deserved that wicket, and he's delighted. Really troubled the batsman, especially Russell, and he was very hostile in the opening spell. And the South African captain departs. Two wickets falling in consecutive overs. That was a beauty. Feet the batsman, his leg stump, and hit off. Very well bowled. Richly deserved that breakthrough for Lilia. Repeatedly beaten the batsman and wrapped him on the pad in his opening spell. Two in his uh, eight overs. Daryl Collinan comes in. Scored a half century in the first match at the SEC. Darren Sena. Tonya gliding it. Well played. He timed it well. He's uh, no fielder at the fine leg. So a boundary to Tonya. That's uh, scorecard at lunch. South Africa losing two wickets in the last quarter of an hour before the interval. Sri Lanka really fought back to take those two wickets. Comfortable session for both uh, teams. Tenegay continued bowling even after the interval. Well played. Onto his leg stump. And he played it square through square leg. I don't say it was, but uh, couldn't stop that one. Very firmly struck and his outfield lightning fast. In the middle of the bat. The face of the ball did the rest. There from Adam Sena. Sitting on the boundary, and that's good. Two spectators, nevertheless. Adam Sena. down the track. Goes over the top. That was well struck. With his second boundary, he moves up to 13. Well played through the covers. Beautiful stroke that one. Perfect cover drive. Colin and he's very strong. Whenever it's been short or fished up to him, he'll be a dislocation, fuller length, and X 
this isn't too bad. Can't ask for a better stroke through that region. This one dropping it short. He was very quickly into position. The ball didn't gain that much height, but he kept his eyes on the ball. Harrison on 18 with that boundary. This is the team Dr. McFarlane and Alan Donnell with the local cameraman. So the presence really enjoying. Side. This is on for Sandika Hathur Singha. Gets a foot to it. Maybe looking for a full run throw. In fact, a long throw. They made it quite comfortably. Well run. this match, but see the delight on his home ground. That was an important breakthrough. 43 runs added in 58 minutes, just as when the partnership was looking threatening. That important breakthrough. He proved a little bit off middle stump, and the off stump uprooted. That's the fast bowler's delight. Worked very hard, but this particular delivery did the rest. Played the wrong line, and that was the mistake. John to Rhodes, the new batsman. One of the success stories, and looked very confident whenever he was at the middle. Muttaya Muralidharan. Going over the top, didn't hit it well, but uh, nevertheless got it past the fielders. Beats the and gate to the boundary. And 100 up in 160 pounds for batting. Four players. Island on the 22. From the Air Force Flats, these kids enjoy the cricket and the beauty. The ball had a particularly good stroke. Also on his home ground. Ball kept low. Stumping by Kobudu Dasanayaka and rode miles down the track. Well bowled Muralidharan. His ability to get to the pitch of the ball made him such a big draw against the Sri Lankan bowlers. But on this occasion, he's too far down. Still continued with the stroke and he's missed that ball and still going further. What a neat bit of stumping. It's not easy for Pupu Dasanayaka to kick toward the height. Brian McClellan in that one. We missed out on a century against India, but uh, different pro position. Evasive action, but uh, he's very alert. Oh, surprise, Parliament. A little bit of bounce as he turned. He controlled it well. He goes for the sweep. And very well fielded by Mahanama. He came off the leg of one of the closing fielders and that's 
Tilagaratna. So he is in discomfort. Must be in a lot of pain. More often we saw Kronia playing that type of stroke, but this time Kalinan meet at the bat. They've been quite painful. That was well played. Took it with the turn. Perfectly safe stroke. Moves up to 33 with that boundary. Kalinan is looking a lot better now. Got past 30 in four test innings so far. Appeal for a test and he's given out. Grant McMillan walks away and South Africa have lost three wickets for the addition of 32 runs in the space of 11 overs. They lost two wickets, the first two in successive overs, but this is an important breakthrough. Half the side gone now. Well flighted. McMillan intended to leave it. Jai Surya who picks up the ball from Silmido. Umpire Brian Aldridge rules the batsman out. Dave Richardson, the new batsman. Not had much success with the bat, but a chance for him to do so. Mujdaran flighting and well played. Got to the pick of that one. All along the ground. Confident way to start. Coming out of squeeze. Full flow of the bat. Playing it through the line. Well played. Full pitch, and got that one again on the offside. Kalinan playing some glorious strokes. Kalinan now on 47. Again coming out to meet that ball. Perfect with time. That's a beautiful sight from there. We've got to toggle it over. But inside that is quite cooling. But they won't reach it. Ramanaika. Neatly turned off. Well played that one. He timed it well. That's his half century coming up and the 150 in 247 minutes of batting. He hit 10 boundaries and batted for 142 minutes and his last two test innings has been half centuries. Played some glorious strokes all round the wicket. That has been his uh, quite uh, advantage. He has shots and knows how to play it. It's the right ball. Here's Murli Dharan and he's one of the better fielders. That was close. Richardson was off for the run. Murli Dharan could pick up. He would have been out. But he hit it. Well played that one again. 
Tarzana over pitching this time. Good on drive. And with it's a not a 16. The Bissula goals, drops it short. Kalinan very quickly into position. He timed it well again behind point. He moves up to 60 with that boundary. Because he's 11. He really rolled his wrists over. Really better. Well flighted and very firmly hit past the bowler. No stopping that as it reaches the long off boundary. Second person brought in 78 runs in 28 overs. And more people getting into unimaginable positions. The fifth partnership between these two came up in only 68 minutes, so this partnership is now looking a lot more threatening. Bringing balls, Karin and cover drives quite elegantly once more. And South Africa get up to 200 in 318 minutes of batting. Another fine stroke by the right-hander. He's enjoying his stay out there. A little support coming in from the experienced Richardson. Ramanaika drops it short and Richardson into action. Very well played indeed. Right as much as he probably expected. He timed it well. Ramanaika boils and very nearly has uh, Kalinan. And the last time. Ramanaika bowled something like that and Kalinan played and missed. He was bowled in the day-night match. This one coming in to Kalinan. Just missing off stop. Now the ball's very well struck. That ball travelled very quickly. Murli Dharan couldn't get across. Very well struck indeed. Ramanaika over pitching, this with the second new ball taken after 76 overs. Kalina now seeing the ball and middling it very well. Ramanaika balls and Kalina cover drives once more. No stopping that boundary. Being particularly strong in that area and he moves up to 80. He's hitting some glorious strokes. Very well played. He pulled that one. Saw it early as uh, get dropped it short and you cannot afford to do that. Turned away neatly behind square. Batsman going for two, and that will be his uh, half century as uh, Mahanama went for the bowler's end. Very well earned half century for Dave Richardson. Hit five boundaries, came up in 137 minutes of batting. That's his second in test cricket. But what a time! Half the side was gone for 128 runs midway through the day when he came in. What an off. That one played obviously and Tilakaratna may have not got to it. But that was close. Karnasena dropping it just short of good length and it did carry and he feels so well, did so throughout the day, not quite there. 
the first three batsmen got up to 20s but couldn't progress another good start for the south africans with 50 put on but that 100 partnership which came up in only 137 minutes really turned in the day Kalinan's highest score in test cricket well supported by Dave Richardson and South Africa would be happy although they were a little bit slow Darren a bowled well but Murlitharan again the pick of the bowlers and he was very economical too South Africa losing 5 wickets for 77 runs but the 100 partnership bringing them back the tough gets going when the going gets tough. In the end, exchange is even, but after South Africa had faltered midway through the day, there was some resolute batting by this pair who put up a hundred partnership and was still not separated. If the Sri Lankan bowlers extracted any life from the wicket early, but South Africa's chances on this test wicket was made even by some very purposeful batting by Darrell Cullinan and Dave Richardson. So we can look forward to another absorbing day, but South Africa may have wanted a little bit more runs at the end of it. Nevertheless, they have wickets in hand and the tussle may carry on for much more than expected. We hope you enjoy the highlights and good night. Cheers. But what was more important, that they had batted through the last session, adding 92 runs and batted confidently. When they came out on a wicket that was easy paced, Sri Lanka were in for a chance where they would have to extend their bowling repertoire to have the South Africans for a total possibly under 300. More often, if they batted, they had to be a lot more positive and get some quick runs possibly in the latter stages of the day. More important, they needed a good start. But what was most important was an early breakthrough. We pick up play in the first ball with Ramanayaka into Richardson. Full toss, a friendly delivery, Richardson very quickly into position, well struck. The umpire is uh, conferring about the shape of the ball, in fact uh, Sri Lanka complained last night, but they decided to start play with the old uh, delivery, but the umpire PC Kure having a change of deliveries. Good delivery from Ramanaika. That was a clever one after that uh, friendly full toss. That delivery would have beaten many a top batsman. Kalinam committed to play it, ball leaving the bat. Good ball by Ramanaika. Uh, Arjuna Ranatunga was not on the field and Kalpake, the 12th man, was on for Ramanaika, Upul Chandana came in. Richardson going for the drive and uh, played it obviously. Well taken by Aravinda Diselva at mid-on and Murli Dharan making the breakthrough. That was very important for the Sri Lankans. And after 43 minutes of play and with the 250 up, in only 410 minutes of batting. Good breakthrough. Muridharan giving a lot of air to this ball. Richardson committed to hit it. The ball there being to hit, but Richardson dragging it onto the leg side and uh, Arvind De Silva completing a good catch. See it again. Richardson trying to loft it over the bowlers but he pulls it to Aravinda at mid -on. The breakthrough that Sri Lanka needed. Pat Simcox made his high score in the last innings against the Sri Lankans. Very capable batsman. The off spinner thrust into the position of a run scorer for South Africa.
Ramanayak, a full toss. And another classic uh, cover drive by Kalinan. He's hitting that ball very well. But not very good bowling by the Sri Lankan quick bowler. Roni Gunratna in front. Lenege. Off the back foot. Well struck through the covers once more. And he is really middling that ball. Beats Murali the run to the boundary. He is on 98 now. Kalinan gauging the pace of this wicket. On the back foot, timing it beautifully to the boundary. All the way to the boundary from the time it lifts the back. Get, get in the edge. But that was just short of uh, Tilakaratna at first slip. And Kalinan certainly very lucky on that occasion. Tilakaratna making a very good effort. Pubil Dasnaka should have been going for it. Very good effort by Tilakaratna, but just took it off the half volley on the ground. Very good effort indeed, but keeper Dasnaka had a better chance of getting that ball. Very good effort indeed by Tilakaratna. Kalinan now much excited. Approaching his first test century. Here's Philip Lien again. Oh, takes it out on the offside. Through mid off. That's running down to the long off boundary. Well struck. His 17th boundary. And that's his 100. And he's quite delighted making those runs in 345 minutes of batting in playing in only fourth test match. A very responsible and valuable, invaluable innings for South Africa. We see that he has played right around the wicket, pulling, cutting, driving, and been very positive in his stroke play. He hasn't come and uh, hung about. He has got on with the game and very valuable innings for South Africa. Murli Dharan over pitching and Simcox, one of his favorite strokes, clears the long on boundary. That's a big hit from the right hander. Very positive in whatever he does. Murli Dharan showing a lot of variation. That one turned the wrong way. Simcox may have not read it. Actually committed to a stroke. Murli Dharan Bowling a leg spinner, mixing his deliveries up. We saw him bowl one last evening. Very good ball indeed, right on line. Arvind De Silva leading the side in the absence of the regular skipper. Jai Surya into the attack. And goes over the big hit. Didn't quite get there. Comfortable catch in the end to Ramanaika at mid off. And that's the breakthrough Sri Lanka really needed. 281 for 7, but this man made a big difference. His first test century played a fine innings. At what a better time to come for the South Africans, who were tottering at 128 for 5. Kalinam came in, played positive cricket, and got a very invaluable 100 for South Africa. Sanat Jaisuriya tossing that one a little high. Kalinam not getting out of the pitch of it, trying to go through the drive and only managed to scoop a catch to Ramanaika. Snell made a fine innings the last time he batted against the Sri Lankans. Burudharan over pitching, and this time played to mid-wicket region, fine stroke. So he will throw his bat out to Asuria. Big hit again, over long on. That should clear the boundary. Yes, it does. Second six, and he's on to 24. That was well struck. The last time these two batsmen played together, they were racing and matching each other stroke to stroke. Put on an important partnership. Terms in bowls. And neatly glided away through the slip region. Murudharan feels 
That's the 300 up in 482 minutes of batting. And a good total for South Africa on this wicket. Both uh, very adventurous stroke makers. Tarun And Snell into one of his favourite strokes. He hits it so well. And gets the boundary that uh, takes him on to six. Tarum Sena worked away. Wake and slip region. The outfield is fast. The second boundary for Snell. He's on to double figures. That was the lunchtime score. And 80 runs coming in the first session of play. South Africa profiting. Here's Ramanaika. Silk box getting the edge. And Hashan Tirakaratna delighted to take the catch. He's one of the safe fielders and an important breakthrough immediately after lunch. He was there for more than an hour. He could have looked a lot more dangerous. Getting his work at was a bonus. Ramanaika sticking to that offside line. Getting a bit of extra bounce. Sig Cox not getting right behind it. Hanging his back out. Hashan Tilakaratna completes a catch. Sri Lankan bowlers sticking to the offline. Achieving the wicket that they needed right after lunch. Good catch by Tilakaratna. Alan Donald, the new batsman. Neil Pereira together with John Reed, the match referee. Ramanaika, loud of wheel, he's gone. And there was no mistake about that one. So two wickets for Ramanaika. That's important for him on his home ground. Didn't last long. Ramanaika receiving the rewards for all the hard work he put in. Donald moving across. Couldn't get the bat there on time. Ramanaika richly deserving the three wickets that he did. His ball so well in this uh, innings. Prachul's the last man in. Murlidharan. Going round the wicket and he's gone. Fine delivery and a very well anticipated catch by Arvind de Silva. And South Africa losing their last three wickets for just five runs in 25 minutes of batting since lunch. Perfect uh, off spinner to the left-hander. Murugaran pitching it midland off ball, leaving the left-hander. And Arvind Silva completes the rest. And after South Africa had faltered midway through, 183 runs added between the fall of the fifth wicket and the eighth. And a top score for Kalinan played absolutely well. Together with Richardson, made their highest... Uh, test scores and Simcox once again proving that he is a capable batsman Snell running out of partners but uh, South Africa's total would have been bigger if not for the quick uh, breakthroughs Sri Lanka had desert for them since lunch the three wickets that came in their way rewarding day for Muralidharan showing more variation and again the top wicket taker the same with Ramanaika who richly deserved his haul both of them on familiar surroundings. Another economical spell for young Kumar Dharmasena. Jaisuri had to be satisfied with the wicket of the top scorer for the visitors. But Hathur Singer and De Silva, the only bowlers not successful out of the seven. But important partnership between Richardson and Kalinan. The need for the Sri Lankan openers were to put up a good stand. Hathur Singer on his home grounds. 
Mahana a potential century maker but has struggled against the South African quick bowlers but this wicket would provide the easy pace here's Donald a movement for him that's a good delivery that came at uh, Mahanama Mahanama playing the outside of that line ball not coming too much uh, too much a bounce of the ball but certainly did beat Mahanama Chandika Hathrusinga ever since he made that uh, top score in his debut he's not gone to the big hundred Appeal for LBW disallowed by umpire BC Kure. That was a very confident appeal. Hathra Singha not coming too forward, getting caught in no man's land. Big appeal by the South Africans. Hathra Singha stretching forward. Very close one indeed. He's gone, and this man has made such a difference. Hathru Singha out to Donald for the seventh time in this series in as many outings. And a fine breakthrough for the South Africans in only the third over. Hathru Singha still not been able to cope with Donald, not getting across enough, edging the ball through the keeper. Hathru Singha still not been able to cope up with the pace. Pubudu Dasanayaka coming in one drop, pushed up the order. Guru Singha, who usually bats here, not involved in this match. And those people out there having a lot more imagination. They've got some shelter for themselves on the second day. Good looking shot. Overpitch delivery. Dasanayaka is off the mark with that stroke. didn't reach the boundary but uh, a pretty confident way to start remember he's just playing his third this match Richard Snell played on the offside oh fine effort from John De Rhodes and he's run out uh, that was good out cricket by the South Africans and they are delighted and that uh, breakthrough very important batted well for his eight runs for his 75 minutes and he was not afraid to get in line with the quick deliveries with the snacker right behind it Chunky Rhodes a brilliant effort managed to get the reach of the ball throws in one movement straight over the wicket ability to throw the ball right over the wicket from the ground and probably the snacker left stranded Kovda Snacker, a gutty player, saw the new ball off and would be disappointed to be out. But a brilliant bit of feeling by John T. Rhodes. In one moment he gets up, sends it to Snell who takes the base off. Sri Lankan vice captain coming in again with the pressure on. Needs to score a very beginnings. Smell. Spraying down leg side. Well timed stroke. That'll bring him a boundary. That's important for him. Off the mark. Arvinda at home, anything on the onside and no problem dispatching that to the boundary. Brian McMillan came in first change. And well played. That was short but very well timed on that occasion by Rosan Mahanama. Good boundary for him. 
Took 19 minutes to get off the mark. Bowling too short on this wicket. Wicket is not coming on. Mahanama having enough time to get over it and played back at a point for four. Snell. That was in the air and it's dropped by Macmillan. And he is not one who does that very often. It may have been struck very firmly, but certainly a chance should have been taken. Ball much too close to be cut. Arvind Dehiswiva looking to play it from near his body. Much too close to him. Only succeeding in edging it to Macmillan, who doesn't hold on to it. McQuillan drops it short and again off the back foot. Another cracking cover drive that brings up the 50 in 122 minutes of batting. Mahanama getting right on top of it. This wicket not showing much, much, much pace. Mahanama confidently playing it to cover for four. A loud shout, Hudson completing the collection. McMillan is not happy, Mahanama well forward. That ball hitting the pad and going up in the air, but nowhere near. Definitely not out. More people enjoying and that's the Air Force Flats. And the Sri Lankan cameraman, not an easy job for him. It's a warm day. Scholz angling it across, and this time Macmillan doesn't to make a mistake. And a poor stroke, I thought, from Roshan Mahanama, who up to that point looked very solid. Played a long time there, almost two and a half hours, coming into the last hour of scheduled playing time. But that's an important breakthrough. Yes. Schultz bowling a lot of short stuff. Able to get a little lift there. Mahanama not too committed. Just angling it and getting an edge. Mahanama. Skipper Ranatunga coming in. With Sri Lanka again in trouble at 55 for 3. Ranjan Madugalla former Sri Lankan captain and now a selector is Donald. Pull up pitch, well struck. Kantuga is very strong in that uh, area and that ball having enough space to carry it to the boundary. Moves up to five with that first boundary of his. Who's dropping it short, and that's another brilliant effort by Jonty Rhodes. Well, that was travelling very quickly indeed, and I'm sure he would not be very happy. Certainly alive for Ranatunga. Ranatunga, anything with bit, he hits it really hard. That was a cracking shot from him. Jonty Rhodes not able to hang on to it. A, a, a very acrobatic effort, but not able to hold on to it. Donald dropping it short. That was well played. And he's one of the batsmen that loves to play that stroke. Brilliant hooker under any circumstances. And this wicket is conducive to that type of play. Arvind the De Silva, very comfortable with anything that's short. Plays very well indeed, square of the wicket. He pulls that bat grip very low. Very comfortable in uh, playing square of the wicket. Macmillan doing a lot of bowling. De Silva once again going for one of his favorite strokes. 
takes him on to 28 with that. That was his third boundary. Again, very well struck. The peak of the previous ball. I mean, they're very comfortable with anything that's short. Drop shot. He's really enjoying this. He moves up to the 30s, and that's uh, Kikri Banda, Kael Gamua, and Ambuta Polonovita, the national selectors, relaxing. A fine stroke play by the Sri Lankan vice captain. Macmillan over pitching and Simcox completing the fielding. The 100 coming up in 203 minutes of batting. TK Palita in the front of your pitcher. Not all that happy. Not too fast. They may have wanted to quicken up the pace, but circumstances didn't allow them to. Nail dropping it short, and this time Ranatunga very firmly onto it. Moves up to 28 with that boundary. Ranatunga getting room again, getting right over it. Anything with a lot of width, he's able to hit it really hard. Timing this one, he's get the wicket. Going right through with the shot. Macmillan over pitching and beautifully walked away through mid wicket. Oh, he's hitting that ball very well. Total on to 117 past the follow on mark and Arvind De Silva on to 44. This is it. Arvind De Silva very comfortable there. So Sri Lanka's uh, chances on this wicket somewhat uh, flattened. With the early loss, Mahanama played well, but really one bad stroke, and he was off. Aravind De Silva looked very sedate. Ranatunga tried to push the score along. That was important. Sri Lanka has to get some runs quickly. Pumudu Dasanayake really batted very sensibly and courageously for his eight runs. The opening bowlers getting the breakthroughs, but certainly. A little bit more commitment by the South African fielders would have given the other bowlers a lot more fine bowling figures. South Africa's first innings total was not an inadequate one. But what was more important was that Sri Lanka didn't get the early breakthrough that they needed. But on a wicket that was much more easy-paced, Sri Lanka's openers faltered again. Two early wickets put them on the defensive, and the loss of a further wicket, that of Mahanama, in the last hour of scheduled play, put them really on a very tricky position. But Sri Lanka's very consistent and constant performers at the wickets, and having survived the chance each, they battered through to the last session of play to play safe and look for more hope tomorrow. South Africa's fielding, at times brilliant, and at times ordinary, had also played a decisive part. 15 minutes into the first session tomorrow, it's going to be very interesting, but Sri Lanka will have to bat through at least two sessions to get to a total that would put South Africa in a position that they may not dictate once more to Sri Lanka. We hope you enjoy the highlights, and good night. The overnight rain had not improved or made any changes to the conditions at the Pisara Stadium. Arjuna Ranatunga and Aravind De Silva had put on a half-century partnership and they were confident. If Sri Lanka were to make another 300 runs today, then this match would be heading for an interesting finish. But towards the end, the task was going to be difficult as this wicket, although slow, was not conducive to fluent stroke play. We pick up play with Brett Schultz into Arvind De Silva.
confident looking stroke Simcox quickly onto it and Aravind De Silva have to hurry probably would have given Dave Richardson celebrating his 34th birthday a perfect gift very early on in the day not good cricket by the overnight pair Aravind attempting a single which was not there very rightly sent back by Arjuna Well struck. He's off the mark for the day. Good running between wickets with Simcox was also faster. And the crowd very much improved. Confidence out. Ranatunga shuffling. That could have uh, been close. Arjuna tended to go across covering the line. This time falling over. The ball coming back into him. Extremely close. Richard Snell. Well run. And that's the Sri Lankan vice captain's 11th test half century coming up in 164 minutes of batting. Arivinda playing most of his shots square of the wicket. We know he's very comfortable playing square of the wicket, and the wagon wheel proves it. Fine delivery from Donald. And Ranatunga fishing. Ranatunga vulnerable in that area. Been out a couple of times in that area, fishing again. Brian McMillan. That's an uppish stroke, but to save. More in frustration, I would imagine. Donald Fields, Ranatunga on to 48. John Reed together with uh, Katie Francis, the match referee and one of Sri Lanka's most senior cricket umpires. Neatly turned off. That's his half century, a well-earned one, coming up in 172 minutes of batting and having hit only two boundaries. Ranathinga playing most of his strokes square of the wicket. The wicket not very quick, slow, he has to work it and uh, that shows uh, Ranathinga has been playing very much down the square of the wicket. Donald, and that's a good delivery. That really troubled the master batsman. Well bowled. On this wicket to give something of that sort to Aravinda is big business. Alan Donald, termed as the quickest uh, white bowler in the world, showing his uh, pace there, bringing the ball up from short of length, putting Aravinda this way, who is very comfortable with anything short. De Silva just managing to get his glove in front of his face. Extremely uh, vicious delivery. Schulz. Beats him. Well bowled. And that vulnerable area once more on the left hand. South Africans pegging on that area of Ranatunga. Testing him once again. Ranatunga not in line again. Spin introduced into the attack. Simcox. Yeah. 
That's the 100 partnership. Coming up in 198 minutes of batting. And the Sri Lankan 150 taking 316 minutes. Came at a time when Sri Lanka were faltering in the last hour yesterday. Got the edge. Through to the wicket keeper. And a classic battle between two left-handers, Brett Schulz and Arjun Ranatunga. Thumbs up for the South African. Ranatunga playing and missing on a couple of occasions. Just reward for Schulz for pegging on that area. We've seen Ranatunga against the Indians being vulnerable in that area. Still, this time he came forward. Ball slightly deviating away. And the keeper completes the catch. Ball falling short, but Richardson managing to get it. Ranatunga not really covering the line, just pushing his bat onto it. Hashan Tilakratna will be a lot more comfortable with this position. Yet to make a test hundred. Well struck. Beats Rhodes. So he has to time it well. That's his first boundary. He's off the mark. Only 36 runs coming in the first session of play of 28 overs. Tilakaratna gauge in the pace of this wicket, waiting for the ball to come onto his bat and timing it down to the boundary. Oh, that was close. Very close indeed. He may have been out, bowled or caught behind. Simcox in the angle, coming around the wicket. That ball straightening on uh, Tilakaratna. Cramping him up. Much too close to play a cut. Lucky to survive. Donald. First truck. Good on drive. Very rarely you saw the batsman being a little bit aggressive. That was one occasion. Aravinda on to 68 with that. Bit of aggression in a dull morning's play. Well, he had gone across, but he did the right thing. Arvinda seeing that ball way outside of stump. Last moment taking the bat away. Simcox. That was a loose delivery. He had been there for a long time. He sees the ball. Well struck. That was virtually a gift. And not many loose deliveries by the South Africans. Playing it square of the wicket. Overcautious Aravinda getting a full toss and making full use of it. Well played, again through mid on. And the 200 up with that boundary. 461 minutes of batting. It had been a long grind. The crowd had improved. Not having much. Full toss again. That one just did not carry, probably. Tilakaratna very lucky indeed. 
perfect delivery to the left hander from the right arm off spinner going wide pitching on and off stump Silakaratna coming to the shot lucky ball falling short of the fielder wrapped on the pad and that was a very confident appeal out after just adding one run to his tee time score that was an important breakthrough only 44 runs was added in the second session of 29 overs this man made most of it but look at that massive marathon innings curbed himself but had to fall inside of a well deserved century arvinder not offering a stroke here the ball turning a lot may have uh, passed the leg stump but umpire brian orridge thinking about it and giving the positive to uh, sinkox you see arvinder doesn't play a shot here ball hit in this inner thigh sanjay surya the new batsman yet to come off good after that initial top score that was well struck Picked the line of that one. Four runs. Find way to get off the mark. Positive approach by Sanat Jayasurya. Taking the attack onto the bowlers, showing there are not too many terrors on this wicket. Well played. Take the gap up. Beats Donald at mid off. and the ball is on its way to the long off boundary good striker of the ball jai surya he got the middle of the bat to that one well struck that one quickly going down to the boundary but rods is even quicker Three runs takes uh, Jai Surya on to double figures, looking a lot more positive, showing his class, doing the slide. Good teamwork here, pushing the ball back to Kalinan to do the rest. That's John De Rhodes, pretty lovable character. Shows over pitching and a beautiful stroke, absolute beauty that one. You couldn't have asked for a better stroke on the offside on that occasion. It's a tired Jules. They've been bowling through the day. Jasure just leaning into it, not following through, just timing the ball all the way, gauging the pace of this wicket. Well struck, over pitch delivery. He played it almost from the crease, but he timed it well. Into the twenties, still a karatna. Almost a replay of Sanat Jayasurya's shot. Still a karatna timing it to the boundary, right onto it. Beautifully played. Hathru Singh coming in as a runner for. Tilak Ratna after he suffered some discomfort. Oh, that's well bowled. He didn't look tired on that occasion. Really put a lot of discomfort on the batsman. Jasuri who's been attacking, getting up his own treatment. Schultz giving some attacking bowling here. good aggression put in the batsman back on a defensive extremely good ball hit him on the visor clouds had gathered there was uh, no immediate danger of rain
Simcox. Well played, dropped it short, and on this wicket, you are asking for a lot of trouble. You do so. Jaisuri making full use. Jaisuri approving and confirming his ability to time the ball and hit it hard when he's given a bit of width. Quicker delivery, dropped it short, but a lot more adventure there from Jayasurya. Well struck through mid wicket. An attacking shot, ball out to the off stump. Jayasurya taking the attack on, showing the difference when you are positive. Well struck, but that man after it. He makes such a difference. Any other would have given a boundary. Showing his brilliance again. Doing the slide. Quick to recover and return. Fine bit of wicket keeping by Dave Richardson. And uh, this man, so agile. The ball hit the pad, showing his ability to stop the ball there. That was nowhere. Going off the pad. Schulz. Overstepping, Jasurya may have heard the call. Nevertheless, another fine stroke. He moves up to 31 with that. Jasurya coming good at the time. Sri Lanka needs to be aggressive. Extremely useful shot. Well, now we have more additions other than the shelter. The lion flag. Those people are a lot more adventurous and imaginative than most people. Macmillan. Well played. Again, another fine stroke. He's timing this ball, taking the attack to the bowlers at a time when Sri Lanka were not doing so. Moves up to 35. Just proving that there are no terrors on this wicket. And uh, showing if you want to attack, the bowling can be attacked at. Donald. Shout for LBW. Pretty confident one, two. Tilakaratna. Almost caught in no man's land there, playing from the crease. Lucky that ball had a bit of extra bounce. The umpire is conferring about the light. 45 minutes of scheduled play still left. And 18 overs yet to be bowled. The 100 partnership uh, between the overnight batsmen who were the two wickets to fall for the day made a big difference. Ranatunga out after he completed his 17th test half century. Jaisuri had batted over an hour, hitting seven boundaries. He was very adventurous. Hashan Tilakratna has stroked three boundaries, being there for over three hours. But only 48 runs coming in the last 16 overs, and that scoring rate very much improved on a day which saw only 128 runs being scored of 72 overs. Schulz and Simcox, the wicket takers for the day. Schulz again, two wickets, top wicket taker. The others bowl their hearts out, but without luck. And that was a big difference to see Simcox bowling a long spell in three innings of test cricket. If Sri Lanka played to a plan in making slow progress in the first two sessions, it may have also helped South Africa's cause. 
Brett Hughes and Alan Donald in particular got movement and lift off the spigot and that was an indication and a, a lesson in top quality fast bowling. Jayasurya made some bold strokes and that was a consolation for the best attendance of the match so far. But the day belonged to Arvind De Silva. When the light was offered and the batsman accepted it, it was fairness for all on the field. The rest day coming up tomorrow, we hope you enjoy the highlights and invite you to join us on Saturday for more highlights. Good night. Hello, good evening and welcome to Highlights on Day 4. Heavy rain over the last two nights had delayed play by half an hour, but the square was well covered and there was no damage to the wicket. The South African quick bowlers had caused many problems to almost all Sri Lankan batsmen. So when the overnight pair went out, they not only had to confront the South African quick bowlers, but also a relatively slow outfield. Jayasuriya at the non-strikers end had added one run to his overnight score, but we pick up play with Alan Donald into Tilakaratna, who had not scored for the day. Alan Donald. Got that one between the two fielders. Not the best way to start the day. But Schulz was in the way. Confident appeal though. Ball pitching outside off stamp, impact outside off stamp. Umpire in the negative. Got it officially. There was no fielder. The boundary on, but not all that convincing. And the 250 up in 545 minutes of batting. Tilkaratna not getting over that ball. Not being able to keep it down. The 50 partnership coming up in only 80 minutes of batting. Donald over pitching and Jayasuriya striking well. No stopping that one. He's into the 40s. Jayasuriya not afraid to loft that ball. Looking very positive today. Anything pitched up, he's going for it. Give him a bit of width. Donald worked hard on his slow wicket, put a lot of effort, figures show it. Gets an edge and it's dropped by Brian McMillan. That should have been taken. He's not enjoying a good match. Bit of extra bounce for shows. Jasuria getting in line but not getting over it. McMillan should have had it. She was putting a lot of effort there, getting a bit of extra bounce. Schulz gets the edge, this time from Telakaratna. And Richardson, ever so reliable behind the wickets. That's the breakthrough they were waiting for. And only 26 minutes of uh, play into the fourth day. Marathon knock from the left-hander. Showing that left-handers are all vulnerable there. Once again, South African bowlers concentrating on the left-handers area there. Being rewarded with the wicket. Tilakaratna not covering the line. Okay, 
Kumar Dharmasena, the new man in. Obits Dharmasena, uh, and South Africans were successful in that fashion at the SSC. Dharmasena getting inside the line of that short delivery, but nowhere. Getting inside the line, bit of extra bounce. Again, that one didn't carry, but found the outside edge. And Schulz really working hard on Jayasurya. Schulz putting a lot of effort on this slow wicket, getting a bit of pace. Jayasurya beaten by pace there. Jasuria hitting it on the up, but between the two car fielders, Rhodes after it, again not very convincing. Schulz over pitching again, but a better stroke from Jasuria this time. Tony has a long chest. The outfield a trifle slow, but the three runs gives Jayasurya his fourth test half century in 123 minutes of batting and quite a chancey one too. The wagon wheel proving Jayasurya's strength square of the wicket. Through to the wicket keeper, and Richardson doesn't make too many mistakes. Dharmasena survived there for just 33 minutes. Not comfortable, and a sad end to him. Shoes going round the wicket, cramping Dharmasena up, angling the ball into him, not being able to get his bat away. Shoes has really worked hard on this slow wicket, extracting a bounce that is not there. Really worked hard on this track. Dulip Tianage, the new man in, a capable batsman and showed his guts during the under-24 tour to South Africa. Donald. Testing delivery on Lianage and that got him. Could be very painful. Many a top order batsman would have been able to get away from that one. Vicious delivery. So he would be in considerable pain. That's his bowling arm too. Overpitched. Again, going uppishly but away from the fielder. Fine bit of fielding from Cronier. Never gives up. But uh, it may have been a boundary. Yes, you see Cronier touching the boundary line when he pushes the ball back. Fielder not aware of it. Well struck over the infield. But uh, very intentional, very successful. Jasuri on to 60. Jasuri are not hesitant to loft this ball. Anything pitched up to him throughout this innings. He has uh, lofted it over the infield. Called him. He may have played it on, but that's an important breakthrough for Donald. And just on the stroke of lunch. Batted for a long time, although he didn't get off the mark. 
Donald going around the wicket, angling the ball in. Leonie playing it on, playing in outside the line of the ball, dragging it onto his pad and then to his wicket. Ramanaika, the new man in. First session producing 49 runs of 17.4 overs, 90 minutes of batting. And that 21 run partnership for the eighth wicket, Leonie didn't score. Goes for the big hit, but hit it in the air. And a fine catch from Hansi Kronje. He had to run back, kept his eyes on the ball, and what a catch. Schultz is delighted. The congratulations for his five wicket haul. Once again, Jair Surya lofting the ball that's pitched up, but this time playing across the line. Getting a leading edge. Kronje not taking his eyes off the ball. Very good catch indeed. See again Jasuria playing across the line. Left armer angling the ball away. Jasuria looking to play towards midwicket, getting a leading edge. Anybody watching this? Kronje never takes the eyes off the ball. So the declaration came. Six balls into the second session. And Richardson, four victims for him in an innings for the fourth time in tests. And he did so in both day-night matches too. Fine performance from him. The last four wickets adding only 33 runs for Sri Lanka. And the middle order doing the scoring. And Schulz for the second time has been the troublemaker. Donald took wickets on vital occasions, but Schulz, 20 wickets now in the series, and Simcox getting the other, Macmillan and Snell, big spells without success. Twenty run lead for the South Africans. He would uh, like to add to his scorecard there. Short delivery, and you cannot bowl anything of that sort on this wicket. Hudson has also been among the runs. Ramanaika. <laughs> Wrapped on the pad. Confident shout. Hudson not getting right forward. That ball keeping trifle low. Very close indeed. In the absence of uh, Leonige, who was not feeling quite comfortable, it was Chandika Hathrasinghe who opened the attack. Gets the edge and well taken by Mahanama. That was an important breakthrough. And the Sri Lankans are delighted. After only 20 minutes of batting, Vessels departs. Proving that all left-handers very vulnerable in that area. Once again, the ball leaving the left-hander. And the left-hander not being able to get behind that line. Angling the bat a bit. Getting the leading edge. The top scorer for South Africa in the previous test match. The day turned out to be a much better one. Ramanaika full pitch and Hudson on the offensive. Whenever he's been so, he's looked a lot more solid. A half volley down the leg side, a gift to Hudson.
Lenege into the attack. Over pitching. And very well played there by Cronier. That ball really did not reach the boundary. Oh, pitch delivery. Cronier being gifted that. Timing it beautifully. This wicker is slow. Anything to be driven, but that's over pitched. No problem in driving that to the boundary. Well struck. Short, and that's what you should not be doing on this wicket. Hudson making full use. Not getting on top of it, but the vacant area. Kumar Dharmasena. Over pitched, and that's a big hit. That should clear the ropes. At a long way. Yes, it does. And he moves to 17 with that. What a good strike. When you've been tied down at this stage, hitting himself out of trouble, he's in the pressure. Here's Murali Dharan. Waited for the wrong one to turn, picked it up well, and very firmly struck. 50 of the innings coming up in 95 minutes of batting. Murilaran, who has been born in the leg spinner on occasions, at a good length, this time giving too much of room and width, Hudson having no problem with that. Jasuria into the attack. Pretty confident appeal. No says umpire Aldridge. Hudson playing over it. Bobby Angle. Pitching outside leg stump. Can't be given out. South Africa had progressed up to 58 by T. Oh. Ramanaika gets through Hudson, joked himself. And the South African opener is on his way. Batted there for over one and a half hours. But that was a good delivery. Ramanak, who's been swinging this ball consistently, bowling an in-swinger. Hudson playing outside the line of it. Top scorer for South Africa in the first innings, Daryl Cullinan comes in. He's being among the Zerangans. Ramanaika finds the edge, but safely. Long chase for Murali Dharan. Kalinan on four. In the air, and given out. He started walking, didn't wait for the umpire's decision. That was Dulit Samaravira, the substitute, in for Hashan Tilakaratna, completing the catch. Important breakthrough, 3 for 65. Kumar Dharmasena able to get some extra bounce on this wicket. Bit of extra bite. Coming off his pad onto his bat. Not being able to get over it.
Johnny Rhodes, the new man in, made his century at the Tiron Fernando Stadium. Ramanaka beating Rhodes there, that was a beauty. Ramanaka mixing his in swingers and out swingers. That ball holding its own. Murlidharan taken from well outside of stumps. Boundary takes uh, Kroni into the 30s. And he's placed his stroke so well. No danger of being given out LBW if he hits on the pad. A lot of turn. Another fine stroke. Through mid wicket this time. All along the ground. Four more. He's on to the 40s with that boundary. Playing with the spin. No danger of being given out LBW. The amount of turn on this wicket. Bring him a lot of runs in that area. Confident shout for LBW as Rhodes plays across. Tarmusena must be dejected. The ball keeping low, but impact outside the off stump. Well struck, taking the kill from Hansi Cronier as the first boundary for John T. Rhodes. John to 13. The 100 of the innings came up in 175 minutes of batting. Getting right over it, rolling his wrist right around it, keeping it on the ground all the way. Working Dharmasena between the two fielders on the onside. That's uh, Hansi Kronje's 50. The last two occasions he went past the score. He made fine centuries. Excellent knock coming up in 181 minutes of batting. Spared very positively. Had five boundaries in his 50. Bringing South Africa out of the woods. Jai Surya, gifted delivery that one, and well used by Hansi Kronje. Pretty loose bowling towards the latter stages of the day. Murdaran gets the reward, the wrong one that made it right for him. Rhodes on his way, that was a good breakthrough for the young spinner. Battered for that Nelson, as far as the minutes were concerned. Murilaran ball in the leg spin that time. Chanty Rhodes dragging the ball on. He should be bowling more of this stuff. See Rhodes dragging it on. Murilaran mixing his deliveries now. The light was fading, 10 minutes plus the, the scheduled closing time. The umpires checked the light meters and offered the light to the South Africans with one over remaining. And they took it, 101 runs coming of 35 overs in 130 minutes of batting in the last session. Kronje holding the fort together once again for South Africa after Sri Lanka made early inroads with three quick wickets. And Rhodes and Kronje putting on a 94-run partnership and the 50 of that came up in only 82 minutes of batting. They really batted well, but Sri Lanka conceded far too many extras once more and a lot of work to be done to control these batsmen 
Ramanaik and Hathrusinga got early breakthroughs. Murlidharan and Dharmasena also successful. And Sri Lanka trying seven bowlers. A lot more to be done tomorrow if they are to stay in this match. And Sri Lanka's chances in this test match to pull one off to square the series looks somewhat bleak at this stage.